Today, guys, I want to take a look at this batter click lock reducer. It goes from two inch to inch and a quarter, and it is the item number 2956214. Now it does come, as you see here, with not only a top cap, but a bottom cap. If you aren't using it, you're going to put it away. You can cap off both ends. Now if this was going to be in your telescope, all you would need is one cap for the top. But I thought it was pretty cool that it came with the uh, bottom cap like that. This is threaded for your standard 2 inch 48 millimeter filters. And they go on very butter smooth. No issues with the threads. And you can also see uh, the, the T2 threads just below that. So here's a close up. You see where the standard 48 millimeter diameter filters go in on the very outside here. Then you kind of see that lip and you see the longer, uh, the more depth of threads. That's your T2 threads. And here we see something attached to those T2 threads. And those threads also are butter smooth. Works great. So recently I've been looking at various different design twist lock adapters from different companies. And then I got to thinking about my batter Herschel wedge that you see here. And I knew that it had a twist lock, which I really liked. So... I looked and you can buy the twist lock that we're looking at today so that's why I thought I would uh, give it a try and see how I liked it. This has an excellent build quality what I've come to expect from batter. I've always been very happy with anything that I've gotten from them. And one of the main differences, instead of just having, because the other companies I've had have had various different knurled here. Some were more, one was scalloped out more and the other ones were kind of like this. And you would use that to twist. Here you actually have an extension. So when you're locking it, you're able to move it like this. And one of the advantages is all it takes is one finger. You could go like this, easily lock it or unlock it and if you've got arthritis that's a major advantage so I do like this so far now on the other three twist lock adapters that I've shown I took them apart to show you the precise construction now this one here I'm not going to do that to it's got that uh, like set screw in there I'm not even sure if it's um lock tight it in so I'm just not going to screw around with it but I will show you then how this works so if we take a look in the center you've got that band and there you see the lever so if we take and rotate this lever let me try it there we go I want to try to keep the light in there so you can see it I'll hold it down here so if you rotate it to tighten it You see how the mechanism closes that 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 uh, center ring to grip your eyepiece. Here it's in the open, unlocked position. And here we are at the maximum full lock. Obviously, we'll never get to that point because your eyepiece will occupy that space and you won't need to go that tight. But then that's how that will operate. Now, I want to check the uh, holding power of the batter. So, what I've got here is the same eyepiece as I use when I 
tested those uh, other three from the other manufacturers. Got an 18 millimeter radian, a 9 millimeter delight, and a three and a half millimeter Delos. All three are Teleview eyepieces. All right, the 18 millimeter radian. I'm gonna pull the eye shield out, then I'll pull on it. And that is in there tight. Now another thing to remember is if you are putting filters in here, you wanna make sure that the eyepiece doesn't protrude past it. So a lot of times, most of the time with eyepieces, I'm always using a diagonal and I will put the filter in the entrance of the diagonal so you won't have that problem. Just remember to make sure you don't ha uh, this doesn't happen. Next is the 9mm Delight. I've already retracted the dew shield and as you can see with this one, this side piece it would not interfere with the filter mounted up on the adapter. And I'm pulling on that and it is tight, nice and snug. Next we have the 3.5 millimeter Delos. That also does not protrude. And that is on there also. I'm also going to try these two eyepieces from Explorer Scientific because these were also two that I tried when I did those other three. So to be fair, we're going to try these. The 20 millimeter Explorer Scientific and the 11. And again, the reason to try these is they have very, they have different um, undercuts. Now, if we look at the Explorer Scientifics, you can see where it starts to right here at the end of my fingernail there, my thumbnail. That transition you see in the light from that point in, it tapers ever so slightly. And same thing with the 20. So uh, it's just a matter of how are these going to hold with the various different undercuts. Now you already saw the Televiews worked great. So let's do the 20 millimeter. And that is tight. Perfect. Next we have the 11 millimeter. And again, same results. Here, guys, you see the batter click lock reducer uh, in my 92 stowaway. Now, the advantage that I see in having the uh, lever that sticks up versus a ring that's down here. If your eyepiece is the same diameter of that ring or your eyepiece is even bigger than that ring, you may have an issue, you may, of trying to access that lever. Where in this case, the uh, you know, accessing that ring to loosen or tighten. In this case, you have the lever that sticks up. So it's just a matter of moving it down unlocking it and you're good to go and the other thing is what you can do is when it's tight have this situated in your uh, holder to where it's in whatever position you want 
So when it's locked, it's always in whatever direction, whatever angle you want. So I like that. I think it's very nice. Well, guys, what can I say? The batter is definitely a winner, and I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a uh, twist lock reducer. And what I liked about this one more than any of the other ones was that it had that extension on there, which would aid, again, if somebody has arthritis. I've got it uh, sometimes in my hands. It's bad. And then in my uh, thumb area down in, in that area. And so this was the easiest of all of them. And then the second one would have been the William Optics. So the batter's number one. The William Optics is number two. And uh, I'll put the links to the uh, video that I did showing the other twist locks if you care to take a look.